Sometimes researchers find something living today that's only known from the fossil record, such as the coelacanth or the dawn redwood. However, now there's been something that's found from even further back than those two. And that's because those two were only known from the Cretaceous, meaning at most 66 million years ago. But this is a behavior that's been found in the modern day that hasn't been known for at least 252 million years in the fossil record. Like the coelacanth, this behavior comes from the deep oceans, and it's coral polyps growing on the stems of crinoids. Crinoids are better known as sea lilies, and they essentially just have a stem that grows up from the sea floor, and then a head or calyx which spreads out and filter feeds. Coral also likes to filter feed, and so they essentially use that stem as a ladder to get higher up the water column so that they can interact with more water that is moving, because water does generally move slower closer to the sea floor. But the corals that are doing this today off the coast of Japan probably aren't related to the ones that were doing this in the fossil record, at least not directly. And the main evidence we have for that is the fact that the fossil corals would actually damage the stem of these crinoids, and the modern corals actually don't show any kind of this damage onto the stem. Additionally, it's not just corals that are doing this, but also a very closely related group to the corals, and that's sea anemones. A single sea anemone was also found attached to one of these crinoid stems. And so this means that this is involved convergently in this group at least three separate times. Once in the fossil record with corals, once with the sea anemones, and again with the modern corals. But the final nail in the coffin that these modern examples aren't related to the fossil examples is the Permian-Triassic extinction, when up to 95% of life in the oceans died out. This includes a lot of the crinoids and the corals. In fact, the modern corals and crinoids that we find this in today didn't exist before this extinction, and only this extinction allowed them to evolve and radiate into the variety of forms we know today. And as for the fossil corals, which also show this behavior of growing on crinoids, they did go extinct at that extinction, and so did the crinoids that they were growing on. So there's a very, very good chance that essentially this just rose up a second time, because it's very advantageous for animals like corals to essentially lift themselves off the seafloor to get more food for themselves. But now we have a direct analog to this behavior in the fossil record, something we thought we had lost. And this means while we sure could have made some inferences about it in the fossil record, now we have something to directly compare about and get a better understanding of exactly how this kind of behavior may have evolved.